Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica, thanks for joining me. Today I'll be making these easy, adorable ornaments, and they all basically start out exactly the same. So let's get into it. I'm using Model Magic for all these projects today, and this round cookie cutter. Ornament number one is a lollipop. I'll grab a handful of clay and knead it a bit. This is very easy to work with and it has a marshmallow kind of texture and consistency. Then I'll flatten it out with my brayer. I won't go too thin with this, maybe to like a quarter inch. This is going to be a lollipop, so I need enough thickness to add a lollipop stick. I cut out a circle with my cookie cutter and push it free from the cutter. Perfect. I'll push my stick into the clay, about halfway until the stick is into the center of the clay. and I'll set it aside for two days to dry. Ornament number two is the Santa and Snowman wrapped peppermint patties. I'll repeat the same process, cutting another circle with my cookie cutter, and I'll also cut a circle using this little plastic cup and an X-Acto knife. These don't need to be perfect because I'll be covering them I'll make a Santa and a snowman ornament, so they'll need a head and a body. Just flattening out some of that excess clay on the side and pushing my clay free from the cutter. So this is how they'll be stacked up to make both Santa and the snowman. I'll use a toothpick to poke a hole in both of them like this. This is where they'll connect when they're assembled. Ornament number three will be our fruit slice ornament. And we'll need two circles using the cutter. I'll cut these two in half, giving me four equal sections. Two days later, they're dry and they're ready to be decorated. My lollipop will have a holly design. So I have three shades of red, which I'll dip dot into the center of my lolly. I'm using ceram coat opaque red, bright red, and watermelon. And I'm using a dowel to make my dots. This is a really easy and Christmassy design. I'll paint my leaves with Americana Sour Apple and I'll outline with Ceram Coat Spring Green. Of course, you could use a stamp or a sticker instead of painting on holly, whatever blows your hair back and makes you feel Christmassy. And I'll dip that white highlights onto my berries. Once this side's dry, I'll repeat the design on the flip side too. I'll paint some red checks around the edge and then some sour apple stripes. To make the hanger, I'll cut a few inches of paddle wire and then I'll wrap it around a brush handle to make a circle at the top like this. 
I'll use a thicker embroidery needle to poke a hole in the top of my lolly. I'll add some glue to the straight end of my hanger and I'll push it into the hole. I want to seal it and add some sparkle. So I'll dab some Mod Podge on with a cosmetic sponge and I'll sprinkle with fairy dust. When it's dry, I'll do the flip side. To finish, I tie some curling ribbon around the stick. Easy and just super cute. Next is the Peppermint Patty Santa and Snowman. I wrap both of my big and small circles in foil to look like peppermint patties. And I'm using candy wraps, but regular tin foil would work fine. I make note of where the hole is before I start wrapping. Once it's wrapped in my tin, I'll just press it nice and smooth around the patty. Once it's wrapped, I poke a hole in the foil, and I'll do the same for the smaller patty too. I wrap the smaller patty in clear cellophane like this. I cut a six by six piece of cellophane. I'll put my patty in the middle and I'll add a couple of glue dots to the foil in the back. I'll fold the cellophane over, sticking it to those glue dots then I twist the ends of the cellophane and I'll twist pipe cleaner around them to keep them nice and tight. I apologize for being predominantly out of shot, but I know you get the idea. And I'm going to trim off some of that excess cellophane on the ends. For my larger patties, I've cut my colored cellophane slightly larger, about 6 by 7 and I repeat the process. I push a toothpick into my small patty, add some glue to the toothpick, and I'll push it into the larger patty. And this will keep them nice and secure and in place. I'll repeat it on the Santa. The cellophane said red on the package, but it looks pink to me. Still cute though, and it works. For Santa's hat, I folded a piece of felt in half, and then I cut the shape of the hat, leaving the top section connected. I also gave the wider end a bit of a curve. I add some glue to the top of the smaller patty, and I'll press one side of his hat in place, and then I'll repeat it on the flip side. I 
could a beard and a mustache from white belt, and I'll glue that to his face. I'll thread some cording through his hat and I'll knot it at the top and then I'll cut off any excess. Now I'll glue the two sides of his hat closed. I'll glue this little gumdrop ball to the top of his hat and then I'll set him aside while I give the snowman his hat, which is basically made the same way. It's just a piece of rectangular felt, fold it in half. Once I glue it to his head, I will glue the sides together too. To make his brim, I folded a black pipe cleaner to wrap around his hat, and I'll glue that into place. To embellish him, I'll glue this wee wreath to his body. Isn't this cute? I got this at AC Moore a long time ago, way before they closed. I've threaded a needle with some cording for his hanger. I just push it through, tie a knot first close to his hat, then I'll tie a knot at the ends and I'll trim the excess. Santa will get this cute wee peppermint as an embellishment on his belly. And the snowman gets a wee candy for his hat. Santa's nose will be one of these metallic confetti pieces. And I'll add fur to his hat with puff paint. And I'll shake on some fairy dust to add some sparkle. I'll add Santa's eyes with black puff paint. And the snowman will get a puff paint face too. Ornament number three, the fruit slice chain. I'll make the hanger for these, same as I did for the lollipop, wrapping some wire around a brush handle. Three of the slices have a hanger at each end, but this slice only gets one because it'll be the last on the chain. And just like with the lollipop, I'll insert it into the glue and then into the clay piece. I'll paint each slice with a different color. Pale yellow for the lemon, both sides. Cricket for the lime slice. Pumpkin for the orange. And watermelon for the cherry slice. I'm using ceram coat opaque red for the rind of my cherry slice, just following the shape with my brush, and I'll paint both sides. Opaque yellow for the lemon rind. I 
apple green for the lime rind. And Americana Warm Sunset for the orange rind. Then each slice gets a weight stripe, both sides. Each slice will also get a coat of Mod Podge and sugar glitter on both sides. I'm using jump rings to attach the slices to each other. I add one to each hanger, then connect jump ring to jump ring. This last jump ring was a bear. It just did not want to close. Probably took me as long to attach that one jump ring as it did to attach all the others. Ta-da! Finally. How cute is that? Look, show me. And there they are, all together. I think they turned out really cute. I think this is a really great beginner's project and would be a lot of fun to make with your kids. I hope you enjoyed today's video and were inspired to maybe make your own. All supplies will be in the description box. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and all that good stuff. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time. Up all night with Monica.